Hello there, Star Trek Fleet Commanders. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about daily missions, the one which are connected with one of the freshest functionalities of the game, which is cloaking. And I'm going to guide you through how can you approach them in a not that obvious way, but still allowing you to finish them every second day with the ships you might already have. If you are watching all of my movies, you probably know that we reached 1000 subscribers. So yes, that goal was met. So I think it's time for another goal. And this time, let's see how long will it take us to get to 2000 subscribers. So if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button and join the Big Brain Society. This video is gonna be specific for the players who already have ships that can use cloaking, uh, lower level ships and high level ships, and probably you remember that during the event when those cloaking abilities were introduced, you could get your smaller ships to have the cloaking, but to have a ships such as Pilum to get the cloaking, you had to spend huge amount of money, and by huge I mean that was like a $500, $600 just to get that ability to Pilum. And I didn't decide to buy that ability because I don't think it's worth it. Okay, maybe if you are on a PvP server that does a lot of PvP and you want to surprise your enemy with a cloaked ship, maybe then this functionality on the Pilum would be good. But on our server, we have next to no PvP. So yeah, this cloaking functionality is uh, just no go. And I also decided to not invest in my Pilum cloaking ability. I decided to go for D4 cloaking and of course doing those missions and doing those events during the time when it was introduced, I just got that thingy. But me being Ops 49 and it is not just about high level Ops, I think it is about every level Ops when you get those daily missions. Yes, you get the daily missions which are called Cloaked Bandit and Cloaked Assassin. And while Cloaked Bandit tells you to kill any hostile, just being cloaked, and everybody can do that as long as you have a ship that has a cloaking ability, and you probably know that you can already buy that cloaking ability from your faction store, which is, yeah, you just don't have to spend the money, you can just get that from the faction store. The Cloaking Assassin requires you to kill three hostiles, either players or reds, of the same level as your operations is. So in my case, I have to kill three 49 targets while I'm cloaked. And this can be done in a multiple way because, for example, if you have a colleagues in other alliance who are the same level as you, well, they can send small ship and allow you to kill it while cloaked and you can do the same thing for them so you know favor for favor you can get those daily not every day every two days because of my amount of tetrions you need to do the cloaking which depends on your operations level and it depends on your researches and you know this kind of stuff but the problem is that for me to be able to kill 49 reds I would need to have a pilum with clocking ability. And it took me a while to figure out that there is another way. Of course, as I said, I can convince a colleague from a different alliance to, you know, exchange the shots and get the daily every second day. But I was looking to do something a bit easier. And at some point I said, okay, what if I can take my D4 to 49 level deep space system and see how it goes versus traders versus mining ships which I can find easily somewhere there and you can see in the background that this is exactly what I did I took discovery and I made one jump for my d4 to see how it goes and to my surprise I discovered that my maxed d4 can kill those 49 level ships without any problems and it can kill 10, 15, maybe even 20. So one thing is I can easily grind those high level ships with my cloaked D4. And it's not that I have to spend a lot of warps of discovery, you know, to, to bring that ship multiple times into the system. It's like a one run. Every second day I get my discovery, I warp in my D4 
I turn on the clocking, I attack, wait one minute, turn on the clocking, attack, wait one minute, wait one minute and so on. This way I can do both dailies every second day. Of course I use the rewards from those daily to upgrade my hull and shields. Quite good upgrades, especially if you invest a lot of tokens into those upgrades. And by doing that I just grow my other ships because there are two researches which are not connected to cloaking. They just basically improves your ship hull and ship shield. Of course there are other researches which also works on the cloaking ships, but you know I'm not using those cloakings too much, so it seems to be working. And uh, I was pretty surprised that T4 can do that. I'm like 99% sure you can do the same thing on Ogre if you have a cloaking on it, or Enterprise if you have a cloaking on it. Of course if you're gonna go with those little bit lower ships and you are Ops 49, that might be difficult for you to kill 49 level ships with Bortas maybe, or Brel, or Centurion, or any other faction ships that has the cloaking, but most probably you already have something better if you are on a higher level and if you are on a lower level remember if you have one of those ships maxed and you have a decent amount of upgrades they still with the cloaking can kill few hostiles and this way you can just do another thing and i know i understand for me it's also kind of problematic that every day in this game i have to do tons and tons of things. So by doing dailies I have to kill reds, mine, I have to do some researches, maybe upgrade buildings, maybe do some cloaking, uh, kill some swarms, kill some borg probes and so on and so forth. There's a lot of these things, maybe I'm gonna create an episode showing exactly what needs to be done every day. This is yet another thing, but if you can combine this with killing reds and you know you can you can kill enough reds to get your points or get your reputation for a particular faction you are hunting, it will allow you to yeah, save a little bit of time because you're gonna be doing two things at the same time, not like one particular, and it will just allow you to do those researches that yeah, the, requires the tokens which you get from those dailies related to cloaking. I hope you like the content and if you do, you can leave the comment saying cloaking just under the video. So go under the video, there's a comment section, write a comment saying cloaking. If you want to write something else, you can write whatever you like, including whatever you like. And of course, if you like the content, don't hesitate, click the like button under the video. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, click this subscribe button. 2000 followers or 2000 subscribers is a goal that is coming soon. I hope sooner than later and I hope you are going to be the person who's going to help me get to that 2000 subscribers. Before we finish, if you want to see more videos of my creation, you can find one video on the top, which is the video I created just for celebration of 1000 subscribers and a little bit under it, there you can find my most recent videos. And I ask you to click them if you want to get more knowledge about Star Trek Fleet Command game. Meanwhile, stay safe everybody. See you next time. Bye bye.